Hey there, people! So today I am bringing you my new All Terraria Wings Guide for 1.4, including how to get wings in Terraria Journey's End, worst to best tier list or progression, their stats, quick demonstrations, and more. There are 46 types of wings available in 1.4, and everything has been heavily rebalanced with the update. So first off, let's talk about the new fledgling wings. These are available in journey mode only. They're the only ones uh, ever available very early in the game. They're very limited, intended only to help new players navigate more easily and avoid fall damage. Uh, so they are automatically given to and equipped for new journey mode characters only. That's the only place you can get them. Uh, they have very low stats, 0.42 flight time, 18 block height, uh, flying height. Uh, 15 miles per hour is their maximum horizontal speed, and they have a 150% vertical speed multiplier. So I am going to demonstrate things along the way here. Keep an eye on the cell phone display below the minimap. Uh, over here you can see the speed in miles per hour. You can also see uh, where I am uh, height-wise, so I'm starting out at 90 feet here. So with these, obviously, not going to get very high. <laughs> I can go about as high as this tree. I can, uh, I can glide with them, um, as you can with other wings as well, but it's uh, very, very limited. They're just to help new players out. The rest of the wings in the game can only be obtained in hard mode. Hard mode is not a difficulty setting, but rather hard mode is what happens to your world after you defeat the Wall of Flesh boss. That takes you out of pre-hard mode, gets you into hard mode. It's just a progression in the game for those who are new to that. Uh, so these other wings that I'm going to talk about have been organized into tiers according to when they're available in the game. For now, um, there are now in the game many clusters of wings that are obtainable at each point uh, of the game with equivalent stats. So there are groupings of wings that have the same stats, and I'm going to organize them that way. Uh, where there are a number of sets with the same stats, I'll just demonstrate one out of those stats. Uh, out of that particular set. Uh, and in terms of crafting wings, craftable wings are usually made at a hard mode mithril or orichalcum anvil. Uh, most of them will require 20 souls of flight, which are obtained by fighting and defeating wyverns up high in the sky. Other crafting materials required in most cases have a small chance to drop from various enemies. So, Getting into the actual hard mode wings, the main wings. Uh, first of all, I've organized um, the early hard mode wings into two tiers. So the first tier has uh, 1.67 flight time, 53 block flight height, uh, 32 miles per hour horizontal speed, and that same 150% vertical multiplier that a lot of the earlier wings do have. So there are angel wings, which are crafted from 10 feathers, 20 souls of flight, and 20 souls of light. Demon wings that are crafted from 10 feathers, 20 souls of flight, and 20 souls of night. Only difference, souls of light or souls of night. And there are also the leaf wings. Um, the leaf wings actually have lower stats and a lower price than they did in previous versions of the game. Uh, they are, however, still sold by the Witch Doctor only if you talk to him in the jungle at night. Uh, the base cost has now been lowered to 75 gold. And of course, uh, costs are variable with the NPC happiness as well. But um, those are the sort of base tier when you first get into hard mode. So with that in mind, I'm going to equip some leaf wings here and just show you. That's about how good they are now. <laughs> um, they're not as good as they used to be, unfortunately. They are still pretty well the easiest option uh, if you have the money to get uh, early in hard mode. But um, along with the angel and demon wings, those form the most basic tier. So let's move on then to the tier two. These are also available at the beginning of hard mode, actually. Um, but they have a little bit better stats. So they have a 2.17 flight time, uh, 67 block height. Uh, 34 miles per hour horizontal speed and 150% vertical multiplier. So there are the fairy wings which emit light and have particle effects. They're crafted from 20 souls of flight and 100 pixie dust, which to me makes them perhaps the easiest option. Uh, this is, you know, if, if you can defeat a wyvern, which you're going to need for many of the sets anyway, um, I'm sure you can get 100 pixie dust. So it's a good option and you can get those right at the beginning of hard mode and they're a little bit better. 
Maybe not the prettiest option. It depends what you like. Uh, there are also the fin wings, which are a 1 in 70 chance to get from hard mode fishing quests from the angler, but you will only be able to get them after at least 10 quests have been completed. There are also the frozen wings. Uh, those glow in the dark and have particle effects as well. Uh, and those are crafted from 20 souls of flight and an ice feather, which is dropped by ice golems in blizzards. So ice golems can be a little bit rare. Blizzards can be a little bit rare. So... Um, the fairy wings are going to be easier, uh, for instance. Uh, there are also the harpy wings, which are crafted from 20 souls of flight, and a giant harpy feather, which is a very rare drop from harpies. So I am going to just show you the harpy wings. Uh, again, that whole tier, those are all equivalent. They have the same stats. So you can see um, these are just a little bit faster, fly a little bit higher, and uh, that whole grouping... Uh, the tier two, so to speak, is uh, just a step up from those uh, first tier ones, but also available at the same time. It's just some of those are rare drops, and uh, I would say um, the fairy wings are the one that you can get relatively easily there. But moving right along again, um, let's look at the jetpack. This is kind of its own thing because it has slightly different stats and uh, works slightly differently. It has a 2.5 flight time. Uh, 77 block height, 33 miles per hour horizontal speed, and 150% vertical multiplier. So a little bit better stats in general. Uh, this is sold by the Steampunker for 40 gold during certain moon phases. And of course, the Steampunker only appears after you've defeated one mechanical boss. Um, this is more, I've organized it here because of uh, the stats so it's a little bit better than those other ones but you have to defeat one of the mechanical bosses first so let's have a look at them or it and yes jetpack has a little booster trail thing it's really just kind of slightly better and of course you can glide downwards with most of these as well. Now, the next tier that I'm going to talk about is actually the developer wings. So these are available in expert only. So you have to be an expert and get into hard mode. Um, all of the developer wings have a 2.5 flight time, 77 block height, uh, 36 miles per hour horizontal speed, and 150% vertical multiplier. So very similar stats to uh, the jetpack, just one little difference there. Um, so it's a 1 in 20 chance that you can get one of these uh, developer sets and you'll get the whole set not just the wings there's some cosmetic items for uh, each developer set as well um, vanity items so a 1 in 20 chance of getting these from expert hard mode boss treasure bags apparently that excludes queen slime so apparently you will not get these from queen slimes treasure bag but any other um, bosses you have a chance to get these so if you're defeating the mechanical bosses and you get really lucky <laughs> you might get one of these um, Several of these sets do emit light, glow in the dark, or have a particle effect. I'm not going to go into details on that because there's just a lot of them. Uh, some of them can also hover by pushing down while flying or jumping, which is a nice little uh, ability that some sets do have. So there's the red wings, and I've labeled these, and I'm showing them all. There's actually uh, 16 sets. So I've done four by four. Uh, there's red wings, D-Town's wings, Will's wings, Crowno's wings, Senex wings, uh, Lazure's barrier platform, which can hover, uh, your razor's spell, which actually shoots rocket-like particles from your feet, similar to the rocket boot sort of a, a effect, but uh, in that's in place of actual wing graphics, interesting, like for that one, and that one can also hover. Uh, Jim's wings, uh, Skiff's paws, which can also hover, Loki's wings, Arcalus's wings, Leanfor's prehensile cloak, it's called, uh, Ghost Star's Infinity 8, Safe Man's Blanket Cape, Food Barbarian's Tattered Dragon Wings, and Grox the Great's Wings. Again, these will just come along with a full developer set if you're lucky. Um, so you'll need to be defeating bosses and get lucky to get any of these and be playing in Expert or Master Mode. But I'll show you one of them quickly. Uh, I just thought this one looked kind of cool and it has the hover ability as well. So you can see, again, um, pretty similar height. And this is what that hover ability means, which is just that you can uh, hover flat sideways. So uh, similar stats, and we'll just move on to the next uh, set or tier. 
So after you've defeated one mechanical boss, there's a whole tier of new wings that are available to you. Uh, obviously, some of those others do require you to defeat a boss, but uh, this is a whole tier of new wings that's available to you with slightly higher stats once you have defeated at least one of them. So it's a 2.67 uh, flight time, 81 block height, uh, 38 mile per hour horizontal uh, movement speed, and 150% vertical multiplier for these some of uh, the items used to be available in hard mode some of these wings used to be available earlier uh, the items to craft them in some cases used to be available earlier but now these items will only drop after you've defeated one mechanical boss so that includes the bat wings which are crafted from 20 souls of flight and a broken bat wing which you get from vampires during a solar eclipse uh, the b wings which are crafted from 20 souls of flight and a tattered b wing which you get from moss hornets in the underground jungle the butterfly wings, which do emit light and have particle effects, they are crafted from 20 souls of flight and butterfly dust, which you get from moths in the underground jungle. Uh, the flame wings, which also emit light, they glow in the dark and they have particle effects. Those are crafted from 20 souls of flight and a fire feather, which uh, drops from red devils in the underworld. Again, once you've defeated a mechanical boss. So I'll just show you the butterfly wings because this is one that I find uh, relatively easy to get. You can see they go just a little bit higher, uh, just a little bit faster. If I go straight up here, you'll see exactly how high they go. And yeah, just a little higher. <laughs> and it's worth noting also that all wings do um, block fall damage, so you don't need a separate accessory to do that anymore once you have a set of wings. But uh, one sec, we gotta switch it up into the next uh, groupings. Okay, so the next uh, grouping that we're going to talk about, the next sort of tier, is after you defeat Plantera. So first of all, there's the hoverboard. The hoverboard uh, is a little bit unique from the other ones. Slight statistical difference, and of course it can hover, being a hoverboard. It uh, has a 2.83 flight time, 94 block height, uh, 33 miles per hour horizontal speed, and 166% vertical multiplier. So finally, that last stat goes up a bit. Its speed is also boosted to 233% of normal when hovering, and it is crafted from 20 souls of flight and 18 shroomite bars. So you do need to defeat Plantera to get the hoverboard. And let's have a look. It goes yay high. I finally got up above that little tree off the edge there. And uh, yeah, it does hover. And you can see it flies a little quicker sideways when it is hovering, just like that. And uh, that's basically the hoverboard. It's kind of useful, kind of cool if you need to stay at a level or something like that. Uh, but it is just slightly different than the next uh, other ones that are available after you defeat Plantera. So these have a uh, 2.83 flight time as well, 94 block height as well, but the 38 miles per hour horizontal speed is the difference here. Uh, they don't get the same speed boost uh, from hovering because most of these don't hover, uh, but they have a slightly higher base speed horizontally and they do also share however the 166 percent vertical multiplier so that includes the bone wings which are crafted from 20 souls of flight and a bone feather which is dropped by any armored bones variant in the post plantera dungeon the mothron wings which emit light and glow in the dark which are dropped by mothron of course during a solar eclipse after you've defeated plantera and that is a 1 in 20 chance in classic or normal mode and uh, nearly, a, nearly a 1 in 10 chance in expert or master mode. Uh, also the specter wings, which are crafted from 20 souls of flight and 10 specter bars. Uh, those, of course, require ectoplasm from the post Plantera dungeon. And the beetle wings, these are actually post Golem. They're crafted from 20 souls of flight and 8 beetle husks, which are dropped by Golem. Uh, so if you do defeat Golem, you can craft the beetle wings. Um, so out of those I'll just show you the Mothron wings here so again same height as the hoverboard I picked these ones because they're kind of pretty I guess <laughs> and uh, yeah they just fly a little bit faster uh, sideways than the previous ones and that's about it uh, so we'll move on then to post golem and event based uh, this is just 
I've grouped these together because of their stats. So a lot of these are from post Plantera event, um, except for one, which is after you defeat Golem. So they have a three flight time, uh, 107 block height, uh, 38 miles per hour horizontal speed, and 180% vertical multiplier. So basically, uh, they just fly a little longer, a little higher, and uh, Go vertical a little faster so the steampunk wings are the ones that you need to defeat golem first they are sold by the steampunker for three platinum after you've defeated golem the other ones are from uh, events that you can access after defeating plantera but of course they're tough events so uh, you know you have to know what you're doing to get them before golem uh, but that includes the spooky wings which are crafted from 20 souls of flight and a spooky twig spooky twig is dropped by morning wood in the pumpkin moon the Tattered Fairy Wings, which are crafted from 20 Souls of Flight and Black Fairy Dust, which is dropped by Pumpkins in the Pumpkin Moon. And the Festive Wings, these ones glow in the dark. Uh, they are dropped directly from Everscreen or ever scream <laughs> during the frost moon at a small variable rate. So if you're lucky, you might get those just directly instead of having to craft them. And those are the ones I'm going to show you because I like them. <laughs> They're basically a Christmas theme fitting the frost moon. And you can see just a little faster, a little higher again. Uh, this is kind of the progression that I'm trying to show you here. So let's just do the straight up test. And you can see I'm now a decent amount above that tree finally. So we are just sort of progressing a little more. And just to go down here, uh, you can see the, <laughs> the ornaments actually glow in the dark, uh, which is kind of cool as well. But anyway, we'll move right along to the next group, which is... Uh, yeah, actually, we're not in groups much at this point. Most of the rest of the wings are either uh, unique or there's a couple of pairs, uh, which we'll get to. Um, these these don't group together by stats the same way the ones earlier in the game did. So when you get to this point, you start getting some special wings that have special properties. And that includes Betsy's wings, which have 2.5 flight time, 119 block height. Uh, 36 miles per hour horizontal speed and a 250% vertical multiplier. So these can also hover during which uh, flight time is doubled and speed is boosted 300%. So, uh, you know, these are a little different. The, hor the base horizontal speed isn't quite as high as the previous set, but they go higher. Um, the flight time isn't as long, but it can be longer when you hover. So they're just kind of a special set that has special properties they have a one in four chance to be dropped by betsy directly in uh, classic or normal or in her treasure bag in expert or master mode i believe the chance is the same so let's have a look at betsy's wings so they have an interesting sort of flapping motion there um, you can see didn't fly like super long there but if i hover you can see i get um, much faster horizontal speed And maybe I should take off from a little higher so that I can show you the sort of increased. Uh, it's supposed to be longer duration if you're hovering. I don't know. I, I'm not really seeing it, but that's what the wiki says. So we'll we'll uh, just assume that they're right, let's say. <laughs> anyway, we'll move along to uh, the Empress Wings, which also have a 2.5 flight time, but they have 128 block height, uh, 41 miles per hour horizontal speed, 275% vertical multiplier, which uh, is very high, of course. And these ones can ascend more quickly if you hold the up key or button. Um, they have a two in 30 chance to drop from the Empress of Light in classic or normal mode, uh, or a one in 10 chance to be in the Empress of Light's treasure bag in expert or master. So Empress wings. You can see um, that extra vertical acceleration, and that's without holding up there. Uh, they're already that much faster, but that's holding up. You can see how fast I actually ascend uh, when I use that little feature. So uh, kind of a cool little set and a new set as well in 1.4 in this case. But uh, last one we're going to talk about in this sort of grouping, um, even though these are not in tiers, is the Fishron wings, which of course are well known for being awesome for a long time. Uh, they've been in the game forever, but uh, they have a three flight time, 143 block height, uh, flight height, 41 
miles per hour horizontal speed, same as the Empress wings in that case, and 250% vertical multiplier. These ones uh, actually show a water trail, and a special property of these is that they ignore the normal movement penalty in liquids. They do also ascend quickly, um, of course, as well. So these have, um, similarly, interestingly, a 2 in 30 chance to drop from Duke Fishron in classic, aka normal mode, or a 1 in 10 chance to be in his expert or master mode treasure bag. So it's interesting that those chances happen to be the same as the Empress ones. Uh, but here we go. You can see that sort of water trail thing going on there. Uh, but yeah, the special property really of these is that you can fly quickly even in uh, water. I'm not going to fly to water to show you that, but you get the idea. Uh, and we've got a few left, so we'll just uh, cut to that. Okay, so at this point in the game, we're actually getting to the end game uh, wings that are available like right at or near the end of the game. Uh, there are actually four sets of wings that are available when you get to the uh, Celestial Pillars, the Lunar Events. So they're grouped into two groupings, essentially. The first one is the uh, Nebula Mantle and the Vortex Booster. And which grouping you go with really depends on what features you want. So these ones have a three flight time, 143 block height, 33 mile per hour horizontal speed, and 245 vertical multiplier, 245%. Uh, both of these do glow in the dark and both of these can hover uh, during which flight time is supposed to be doubled and speed boosted 300%. So that's the feature of these two is that they can hover and uh, you get a faster uh, horizontal speed and longer flight time when you hover. So if you like hovering, these are the ones that you <laughs> want to go to at this point in the game. They're crafted from 10 luminite bars and 14 of the respective pillar fragments, uh, whether it's the nebula fragments or the vortex fragments, add an ancient manipulator, which is also a change from, of course, earlier crafted wings. So let's, uh, I've got the nebula mantle here. And it's still, this one shows sort of like um, flapping motion, but uh, the vortex ones actually have a different effect. Uh, but yeah, these really have like a sort of a maneuverability thing with the hovering. And that is kind of what they're good for. They do go higher than uh, most of the previous sets. If I go up, I can start to make it near uh, from that little platform over there, I can start to make it near the floating island, which is kind of why I picked this spot, just to show you um, as we get to the later ones where you can go. But if I go uh, from my regular spot here, still, if you've been watching the mini map, that's a lot closer uh, than I got with previous sets. But we've got some more here. So this is your alternatives to those two is the solar and stardust wings. These have the same three flight time, uh, but they have 167 block height. 46% or 46 miles per hour, sorry, uh, base horizontal movement speed and 300% vertical multiplier. So these are more just uh, faster for more straightforward flying. They don't have the hover, but they are fast and go high uh, without it. So uh, both of these do glow in the dark, have faster acceleration and 50% higher maximum ascent speed. And they are likewise also crafted from 10 luminite bars and 14 of their respective respective pillar fragments, the solar or stardust fragments at your ancient manipulator. So in this case, I've brought the solar wings and we'll just show you how you'll notice they accelerate pretty well. And we got a little bit closer there to that island um, because of course these do have a slightly higher ascent. So we're actually getting pretty close at this point. And in fact, I may as well go over here just to show you the comparison from there and yeah i can actually hit the bottom of the island from there now uh, but we've got one more uh, brand new amazing uh, new item that you can get in terraria 1.4 and that is the celestial starboard so uh, this is brand new for 1.4 it's got three flight time 201 block height 
41 miles per hour uh, base horizontal speed at 450 percent vertical multiplier so that is the highest vertical multiplier by far it leaves a rainbow trail um, it has both an ascent boost by pushing up and a hover ability by pushing down that is by the way how hover works you jump or fly and then you hold down while you're jumping and flying it's kind of a little awkward to do it but uh, that is how hovering works uh, and the celestial starboard is found exclusively in expert and mastered mode in the moon lord's treasure bag so i did show this in the new uh, 1.4 accessories uh, video but you can see even just from that perch down there and you can see that also that the uh, rainbow only shows when you're going somewhere horizontally. It doesn't show if you're going only vertically. But yeah, from there I can easily <laughs> bump into uh, the bottom of the island. I nearly did from the lower down perch. And yeah, I can actually get up here directly from the ground uh, just with that alone. So uh, that's the Celestial Starboard. And one more thing that I'm just going to add while I'm here is the soaring insignia this is a new item that you get from the empress of light in her uh, treasure bag i believe if i recall correctly uh, and this actually allows you the soaring insignia you can use it with any set of wings or even with uh, boots rocket boots included um, to get unlimited flight time so this makes any of your wings more useful but particularly you know something amazing like this uh, if you're not annoyed by that noise <laughs> but it allows you to just fly indefinitely and I can just fly across the world quite casually on my celestial starboard if I have the soaring insignia um, equipped and I can also of course maneuver quite well I can if I hold up um, that's that rapid ascent thing I was talking about with the celestial starboard so I actually just discovered that floating island because I totally haven't uncovered my uh, world yet but let's just show you that rapid ascent while we're here so if I hold up I go really fast up um, and that's not as high as I can go that's just uh, well obviously I have this um, sort insignia so I can go as high as I want but anyway um, just wanted to show you that while we were at it and you can use that one with any set of wings as well so hope you like the video thanks for watching uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time bye for now